What is happening, y'all? We're back with more of Alan Wake Remastered. So we have uh, we have successfully gotten the missing pages for Episode One: Nightmare and Episode Two: Taken. So we are uh, we're on uh, uh, Episode Three now. So Ransom. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go meet Rose, Randy's dogs. Is this uh, is this what Carl was talking about? The famous dog, 229, big dog, 349, monster dog, 519. Holy b belly burster, 1599 for a hot dog? Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Shut the fuck up. I'm looking at this shit. Maybe I want a belly burster, asshole. Fucking dickhead. $16 for a hot dog. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Oh. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching <laughs> hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane. <laughs> they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. A lot of this stuff, like now that I played the base game, a lot of it makes a lot more sense. Like, for example, I know who Cynthia Weaver is. I know that she had... Uh, not really a breakdown. It was. It wasn't really a mental break or anything. It was more along the lines of a. Uh, <laughs> it was just her. Her freaking out about the darkness. Welcome to, to. Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm. I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript. Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please come in. Okay, so we'll skip all this. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. My all right. and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. So, we're going to be looking for um wake attacked by the dark presence. While well, running from the police after the cruiser crashes onto the path, follow the tracks away from the destination marker to the dead end to find the page. All right, so that that's going to be a little while. We're not, again, we're not going to listen to any of the radio stuff. We've already heard all that. If you really, if anybody's watching this on Nightmare for the first time, um go back and check earlier in the series there's i have a playlist for it up on my channel um and uh I, we listen to all the radio stuff and all the we watch all the night springs and shit uh during and like i play all the cutscenes too anyway yeah i play all the base game and stuff uh, during uh, during that, like before I play all this. So this is the cruiser crashing. Okay, maybe not. Holy shit. They're trying to shoot me. Oh, damn. Oh shit. I'm sure a gunshot a nightmare would really fucking hurt. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. 
Yeah, we got this. What we're really looking for is that cruiser crash. It was like, yeah, this. Damn. Uh, oh, yep, there it is. It's down there. I missed this before. Okay, so now we are missing. Uh, still missing quite a few. Wake attacked by a bulldozer. I remember that. That that sucked. Uh, so this is Wake and Night Springs. Look for a tower with a gate in front of it. Uh, after crossing the train trussle, while on your way to the train depot. Okay. So that's gonna be a little while, again. I wonder where the bodies went. Like if you look inside that car, there's no bodies. It's just an empty cop car that's crashed. And then all those guys start getting attacked by the dark presence. What is that? Oh no! <laughs> Kinda feel sorry for him. <laughs> everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Yep. All right. Yeah, now we have the helicopter getting taken out by the birds. I remember hiding here, thinking... Right, the birds go after this. Then the helicopter explodes off in the distance. Damn. Wait, yeah. uh, do we need to go up here? I don't think w there's anything up here. Right, this is just to let us look at the thing. I think there was a page up there too. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. I don't remember if we need, if we... The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. I, I don't remember if we, uh, if we do the... No oh the my system. god. Shut up. Um. Anyway, yeah, I don't remember where, like, when exactly the train station was. I don't remember if it was before or after. Uh, before or after the radio station. So I guess we'll find out. Either way, I know the train station. Um, I know I know where that's talking about for that page.
Okay. It took me a moment to Oh right, these are the flashbangs. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. These are nice. I really like these. Okay. Can't go that way. I remember, I remember doing this on easy, like basically just dodging all the way down. Ow, okay, well we can't do that here, unfortunately. Like dodging until we got to the light, I mean. Cause the light is right here. Can't go that way. All right, this bridge. I actually remember this bridge because there's a page right there. And I remember dying multiple times in this sequence. So I kept coming back to that one stupid bridge, ow. Asshole. Oh, bullshit. Please let me heal. Holy fuck. More flashbangs here. All right, perfect. Ah, fuck. And the pro the bad part is we haven't reached a checkpoint yet. So if we die, we're fucked. I think we're getting really close though. Yeah, we are. Excellent. Right, so the train station is after we're running from the cops again. Whoa, asshole. That's right, bitch. Fuck you. This is so funny. <laughs> on those people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Compassionate indeed. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was right here we go reach the train depot a book the sudden stop it was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine oh flares we'll use the flares for now Right, bitch. Fuck you. Think you're funny? Alright, so we got our ammo. I remember.
remember there was a page all the way at the very top. Or no, no, it wasn't a page. It was a coffee thermos. I remember it pissed me off. Because I was like, they couldn't have given me a page for that. Excellent. Four bullets. Spectacular. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if... Oh, now we have ten bullets. Good. To use. In light, you can hurt them. Indeed we can. We'll waste a bullet on that, just maybe. No. Yep, there's a shotgun. Then we have a bunch of enemies spawn. That is not what I meant to use, holy fuck! I meant to use a flashbang earlier. Wow, okay. I like it when I miss shots. It makes me feel really good about myself because I know that, that maybe that one bullet could have saved my life later. Super fun. There is something up here. That's a page. I think I remember grabbing this. I also think it spawns an enemy. Good. There's the train. Oh, so nice. So nice. Okay, so... This is... Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. He keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Yeah, I remember that. He was talking about how, like, the call was, like, broken up from that one message. Or from all the things that she had said. Oh, I think there was a fuck ton of revolver ammo in here. Yeah, there is. That's great. So nice. That, I believe that was, that also spawned enemies. Yeah, and I think it's worth it. Ugh.
Yeah. Totally worth it. Because I ended up with more revolver ammo, uh, more flares, um, two flare gun shots, a little bit of shotgun ammo. That was totally worth that detour. I could see a railway bridge. I think I said that before too. Of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Oh, I remember this part. This part was shitty. Um, let me see here. Just, I'll bring that out just in case. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Yeah, we, we have to have that out of the way. I didn't want to use a fucking flare gun shot, but we had to with that. I might have to use my another one. Fuck, dude. That's gone. Yeah, that was close. Alright, let me check my time here. Okay, we still have a few more minutes. Maybe we'll find another page. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Heavy duty flashlight. That's my first one in the game. Fucking nice. Um. Okay. Uh, look for a tower with a gate in front of it after crossing the train trussle. Before the gate, turn right and it'll be on your edge. It'll be on the edge of a rock facing the cliff. So is it down or is it up? Turn, hang on. Let's look over here first. Because I think that might be the gate that they're talking about. So turn left. Because this is the train trussle. Okay. So I'm assuming it's up there. Like, it doesn't make sense because this is the, this is the tower with the gate. Like here? Yeah. I definitely missed that one. Okay, so that is Wake and Night Springs, and then the next one is Sarah in the radio station. 
which is outside the coal mine museum on the green on the green wooden path to its entrance. So we still have a ways to go now. Because this is like after the train depot. Oh, I remember this. They were like setting me up for a fight here. Yeah, there's a fuck ton of enemies that spawn here. There's a flare. That's nice. Yep. I did not, sir. Excellent. Yeah, I might have to use those barrels a lot more. Those really help. Oh, ow. Yeah, back up, motherfucker. Back up. Alright, so those guys are dead. I forgot that he pushed that shelf down and it hit me. Uh, in light, you can hurt them, yep. Bunch of good shit up here. That's Night Springs. And the radio. Right, this is the fucking bulldozer. Okay. Alright. What we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna wrap things up right here. So we're gonna face the bulldozer. Uh, yeah, we find a vehicle, alright. We're gonna face the bulldozer in the next episode. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna, we're, we're keeping, we're, go we're gonna keep on finding these pages. Um, I'm, I know I'm using the fucking guide. Uh, I hate doing that, but... I couldn't find him in the first playthrough, so it's like, fuck it. I don't want to miss any pages. I still have five left, I think, so, for just for this episode. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're really enjoying it, and I'll see you all in the next one.